the center is essentially composed of four different institutions. At the University of Pittsburgh, our department, Computational and Systems Biology Department, at uh, Carnegie Mellon uh, Lane uh, Center for Computational Biology, and the Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center and the Salk Institute for Biological Sciences. And we have investigators from all those four institutions. The goal of the MM Bio Center is to help gain a mechanistic understanding of the molecular and cellular interactions that underlie observed physiological events. We want to be able to build computational models, methods, software, not only to describe observations, but also to be able to make predictions about the system behavior. What the Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center brings to MM BIOS, besides the individual work of our researchers in cell modeling and connectomics, the center serves as the infrastructural glue between the collaborating institutions, providing unique computing and storage resources and outstanding wide area networking. Together, these enable effective remote collaboration in the era of big data. Uh, the Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center has had a research resource since 1990, which formed the seed of the current MM BIOS project, which now encompasses both Pitt and Carnegie Mellon University. That history accounts for the Supercomputing Center's extensive expertise in training and outreach to the community, an effort which we lead for the MM BIOS project. Our goal is to model the collective dynamics of large systems. It is not possible to do that at full atomic scale. Instead, we have introduced those coarse-grained models, which we call elastic network models. Our work has taken a molecular simulation strategy, uh, which is originally developed for the smallest scales, and applied it to much larger cellular scales. Now, this approach, called the weighted ensemble strategy, orchestrates hundreds and even thousands of parallel trajectories to get simulation information much more efficiently. The major advantage of the elastic network models is their ability to take account of structural complexity while providing us with a mathematically tractable and computationally efficient framework. We have tremendous advantages being at the University of Pittsburgh. We have a first-class biomedical research center here, which enables us to collaborate both internally and with the researchers around the world. Our rule-based modeling approach to biochemical systems allows for the automated construction and analysis of much more finely resolved models than was previously possible. W working as part of the MM Bio Center gives us the opportunity to integrate some of the methodology that we've been developing to handle molecular complexity with the methodologies that, and the simulation capabilities to handle spatial complexity that have been part of the M-cell development process. The work that we do here at the Salk Institute in Terry Sanowski's lab in collaboration with Jim Fader and Marcus Dietrich at Pittsburgh is on a simulator that I helped develop many years ago called M-Cell. M-Cell is the Monte Carlo cell which simulates how individual molecules react with each other in space and time in the three-dimensional structure of cells. M-Cell bridges between different scales. On the one hand, we have the molecular level. On the other hand, we have the cell level or tissue level. And, and so M-Cell will really help provide a simulation framework that uh, biological scientists can use, a simulation framework that will help us um, to bridge across scales. Multi-scale modeling in biology in general is really one of the greatest challenges of our time. And when a system becomes too complex to think about, it becomes impossible to do thought experiments and think your way through how they really work. So putting them into the computer, and by playing with these things, you develop a greater, stronger intuition about how these things work. The MM Bio Center builds on the relationships that we've built between the University of Pittsburgh, Carnegie Mellon, and the Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center especially. So we have a good amount of experience at solving some of the administrative problems and things that come, come along with the center uh, across different institutions. For TRND3, uh, which is the project that I lead, we're using uh, advanced uh, machine vision methods to analyze uh, images of cells and tissues. We were building on a, a lot of uh, interactions that we'd had between the two universities, but in looking for the, this particular project, I was struck by the fact that we had a, a 
an excellent team that was working on the M-cell project. Realistic cell geometries had to be created from electron micrographs by manual tracing, and this was really a limiting factor. And so we took advantage of the fact that Gustavo Rodi and I had been working on a project called Cell Organizer, and this would be a, a perfect match for the M-cell system for doing cell simulations. Integration is an essential component of our studies. Integration between computational studies at different scales, integration between experiments and computations. The problems we are dealing with are quite complex, and it is only upon integration of our efforts that we may seek answers to those challenging problems.